Are you still adding your leads into your CRM application manually? Then this automation is just for you. So hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create lead squared lead on Elementor form submission. So I am an owner of a real estate agency and I have created an inquiry form with the help of Elementor. With the help of which all the customers and clients can ask their inquiry that they have. Here what my objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by the potential customers and clients with the help of Elementor, I want to create that potential customer and client as a lead in my lead squared account so that I can manage all my leads data. Now creating these leads manually is very time consuming. So what I did was I simply automated this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. And here in this video we are going to build a connection between Elementor and lead squared with the help of it. So if you also want to learn about this amazing automation process step by step then let me take you all to to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to create lead squared lead on Elementor form submission. So as an owner of a real estate agency, I use Elementor to create customized property in query forms that is attached on my website. And I use lead squared as a CRM to manage these leads and track their interest and follow up to close deals. Manually transferring form submissions to lead squared is very time consuming. So with Public Connect, I can automate this entire process. Now, whenever submits a form with the help of Elementor, automatically that lead is going to be added in my lead squared CRM. This automation helps me to respond leads quickly, ensuring no opportunity is missed and improving my overall sales efficiency. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation between lead squared and Elementor with the help of Public Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you, in which you can see all the applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on this Access Now button. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you. It's asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, we have, I'm going to give it as create lead squared lead on element of form submission. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my public Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For the click on this drop down, these are the folders from which I'm going to select Elementor Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving the name to the workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on this create button in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of create lead squared lead on Elementor form submissions and there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, other says action. So what is trigger and action? Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two principles. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select my trigger application as Elementor. As with the help of Elementor, I have created an inquiry form for my real estate agency. With the help of this form, the leads are going to be generated. My objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by the potential customers and clients, with the help of Elementor, automatically and instantly public Connect should capture the response of the form submission. That is why for the trigger application, I'm going to select it as Elementor and for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new form submission. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Public Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to build a connection between Elementor and Public Connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my Elementor form that I've created to Public Connect. 
in order to that open the form that you have created so this is a form that i've created in the name of new contactors form and i want to connect this form to paply connect in order to do that this is the form field you can see right away i'm going to click on this form field as i'm going to click on it you can see the edit form field on the left side of the panel is going to appear in front of you if i'm going to close it you can see the options are provided to you on the left side okay from the given options click on this actions after submit option right over here as we're going to do that, it says add action, click on this plus button and search for the action in the name of webhook, select it. As we're going to select the add action right over here, you can see the webhook is going to be mentioned below. Click on it. As I'm going to click on it, you can see it is asking for the webhook URLs. So in place of this field, paste the webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. Okay. After pasting the webhook URL, now I'm going to save the changes. For that, I'm going to click on this publish button in the top right corner. As I'm going to do that, the changes are now been saved. Okay. As the changes have been saved, if I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down, you can see over here it is saying waiting for webhook response. As we have added the webhook URL to our form that we have created using Elementor, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether the form that we have created with the help of Elementor is connected to Pabli Connect or not. And how are we going to do that? By doing the test form submission of this form that we have created. And after doing the test submission, I'm going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of the test submission being done. So now in order to do the test submission, this is the form for doing the test submission, I'm going to click on this preview button right over here. As I'm going to do that, this is the form that I've created using Elementor. And with the help of this form, we're going to do the test submission. Firstly, it is asking for the first name of our potential customer. So what I'm going to do is for the first name over here, I'm going to write it as smart. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as lead01. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as smartlead01 at the rate fabritudes.com. And for the phone number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. After that, it is asking for the property type. For the property type, I'm going to select it as residential property, okay? After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the send button right over here. As I'm going to do that, it says your submission was successful. As the submission has now been successful, now I'm going to open my workflow and check whether public and it has captured the response of the form submission or not. For that, I'm going to open my workflow that I've created and scroll down. And yes, you can see right over here, public and it has captured the response successfully. For the email, the email is smartlead01 at the rate publitudes.com. First name as smart, last name as lead01. For the phone number, the dummy mobile number, the property type as residential property. As the response has been successfully captured, this means that Elementor has now been connected to public connect and our trigger setup is done. Now, whenever a new form submission is going to be done with the help of Elementor by the potential customers and clients, automatically and instantly public connect is going to capture the response of that in this similar manner. Now, as we have received the response, here what my objective is that as soon as the form submission is going to be done by the potential customers and clients using Elementor, I want to add that lead in my lead squared CRM account. Okay. So now in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my action step. And for the action application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as lead squared. As I want to create a lead in my lead squared account. So that is why I'm going to select my action application as lead squared. Lead Squared is a powerful customer relationship management platform designed to help businesses manage their leads and sales processes more efficiently. It allows you to collect, organize and track leads in one place, making it easy to follow up and convert them into customers. With features like lead tracking, automated workflows and detailed analytics, Lead Squared helps us to streamline our sales process, improves productivity and boost our business growth. And I'm using Lead Squared to manage all my leads that are generated for my real estate agency. Okay. So now what I want is I want to add that lead in my Lead Squared account. So what I'm going to do is that is for the action application, I've selected it as Lead Squared. And for the action event, I'm going to select it as Create or Update Lead. Okay. After selecting the action application and the event, I'm going to click on this Connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you on which click on Add to Connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that, you can see it is asking for the access key, secret key and the API host. For having these details, you have to follow the steps given here below in the help desk. Okay, we have to log into our lead squared account. So we're going to log into our lead squared account. This is my lead squared account. You can see right over here. And now what you have to do is we have to go to settings option. For that, click on this profile button and go to the settings option right over here. As I'm going to do that, after coming to the settings option page, you can see from the left side of the panel, it says API and webhook. Click on this button. As we're going to do that, you can see right over here, this is the API host first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this host from here and paste it in my workflow right away as it is asking for the API host. Now we want the access key and the secret key. If I'm going to go back, this is the secret key right away. I'm going to click on the show button. You can see the access key is also been provided. So I'm going to copy this key from here and paste it right over here. For the secret key, I'm going to copy this key from here and paste it right over here. Okay. 
After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save button. As I've done that, you can see lead squared has now been connected to Paply Connect. After connected, he's asking for all these details right over here with the help of which we are going to create the lead in our lead squared account. Okay. It is asking for the first name, last email address, phone number and the details of our lead that we have received. Okay. So for the data of these fields, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. What is mapping? Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how mapping works is that as soon as I'm going to click on this field, this was a previous step that is elemental new form submission. As I'm going to click on it, this was the same response that is captured in our previous step. I want to create the customer. I've done the form submission using Elementor as the lead in my lead squared CRM. So what I'm going to do is from the previous response, I'm going to select the data of the first name over here. It is asking for it. So I'm going to select the data of the first name. Okay. As I've selected the data from my previous response, the data is mapped. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data. Similarly, for the last name, I'm going to map the data of the last name right over here. For the email, I'm going to map the data of the email. I'm going to map it, okay? For the phone number, I'm going to map the data of the phone number. After that, it is asking for all these details, which I do not require. So I'm going to skip the part. Next, it is asking for the notes. For the notes over here, I'm going to write a note. Lead has selected the property type as, and as the property type has been given to us, I'm going to map the data of that, okay? After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button. As I've done that, you can see right over here, we have received a response, which is a positive response. The status comes as success. As we have received the response, I'm going to open my Lead Squared CRM, and I'm going to check whether a new lead has been added to my account or not. For that, I'm going to open my Lead Squared account. As you can see over here in my lead squared account, the lead in the name of smart lead 01 has been successfully added. If I'm going to open this lead from here, the name is smart lead 01 with the dummy email address. You can see right over here smart lead 01 at the rate fabrituals.com with a dummy mobile number. As now the lead has been successfully added to my lead squared account, this means that we successfully created an automation between Elementor and lead squared with the help of Public Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. I am an owner of a real estate agency and I've created a form with the help of Elementor. My objective was that, that as the form submission is going to be done by the potential customer, I want to add that customer as a lead in my lead squared CRM account. Now, in order to do that, I have created this amazing automation between Elementor and lead squared with the help of Pabli Connect. So this was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Not just with these applications, you can create automation between multiple other applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any questions, you can contact us on support at the rate If you have any queries, you can check the queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video.